Welcome to another video by JustQuant.com. In this video, we will see how to square numbers ending with 5, 25, and 75. Let us first have a look at squaring of numbers ending in 5. Consider 35 square. The square can be thought to consider two parts. The right part will always be 25, and the left part will be the number preceding 5, multiplied by a number which is 1 more than itself, that is, 3 times 3 plus 1, which is 3 times 4, or 12. Hence, the solution is 1225. Now consider 65 square. The right part as we have seen earlier will always be 25, and the left part will be 6 multiplied by a number which is 1 more than 6, that is 7. Therefore, the left part is 6 times 7 which is 42, and the solution is 4225. So if we look at this in a general form, A number which ends with 5 can be represented by x5, where x is the number preceding 5, and the square of it will consist two parts. The right part will always be 25, and the left part will be x times x plus 1. Thus we can calculate the squares of any number ending in 5 using this method. Now let's look into the technique of squaring numbers that end in 25. If we look at the general form of these numbers, they take the form x25, where x is the number preceding 25. Here again, the solution will consist of two parts. The right part will always be 625, and the left part will be x5 times x. The above technique will be clear with an example. Consider 825 square. The right part, as said earlier, is always 625. Now the number preceding 25 and 825 is 8. Therefore, x is 8. Thus, x5 times x is 85 multiplied by 8, which is 680. Hence combining both the parts, the square of 825 is 6,80,625. Now, we will look into the squares of numbers ending in 75. We can represent the numbers ending in 75 as x75, where x is the number preceding 75. Now similar to our previous techniques, the square of it will have two parts. The right part will always be 625, and the left part will be x5 times x plus 1. Let us apply the above technique to an example. Consider 675 square. The right part of the square is always 625. Now to calculate the left part, we know that the number preceding 75 in 675 is 6. Thus, x 5 times x plus 1 is 65 times 6 plus 1 which is 65 times 7 or 455. Hence by combining both the parts, the square of 675 is 4,55,625. So with this, we end our video on squares of numbers ending in 5, 25 and 75. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Thank you.